I don't know where to stand, where to position myself in my room, just because the lighting is terrible awful, and it is dark outside, so thank you light, thank you sun. Warning, this is going to be really long-winded, but whatever. Also, my parents, we can just, I'll go this way, um, computer, stay awake, and I'm trying to stay awake, <laughs> but yeah, I am braless. I am half makeup wearing face right now kind of um i am sleep deprived i just woke up from a nap like just now and it's been the day it's tuesday today tuesday where's my phone tuesday um 6 38 tuesday i'll quickly show you this <laughs> um yeah so tuesdays are my crazy days with class load, workload, um, uh, just personal goals, you know, I always try to get same things done every day, that sounds really weird, very repetitive and boring, but just, I have a to-dos list that carries over to every day, like, there are certain things I do every single day so that I feel accomplished, so that I work on myself, so I reach my personal goals, whatever, blah blah blah. Yeah. So yeah, basically, we are moving, and it's happening so tomorrow wednesday the mover dudes and the friends and the family some people throughout the week starting tomorrow they are coming so my goal for tonight yesterday last night was the movies and the giant ottoman if you don't know what that is it's kind of like where your feet go but it like opens up it's all fancy and then under the tv stand all of the movies out of there and we are hoarders of movies we have a giant a collection of movies now they're all put away and then we have this stuff so we have blue shelving which is used for more decor and random basically here i'm just pointing at the things and stuff and talking about them for too long in so my closet the remains of my halloween costume sounds like it's dead um a box that needs to be filled up and it needs to have friends they are there will be a lot more boxes to come oh and right then we got a little snack here for 6 40 p.m before dinner time and my cute little water whatever and then we got freddie of course but we need to start this over freddie's one of my favorite youtubers and we need to watch the whole thing again but not this okay anyway uh okay she's probably the youtuber that I have going on in the background that sounds really weird but um she's just very chill and calming and soothing and peaceful and so I like to have her stuff on in the background if I'm cleaning organizing doing homework it sounds kind of funny but just if I'm trying to kind of get into that mindset and I have a really squeaky floor um anyway so, where was I? I'm going to attack the big furniture items. And speaking of furniture items, you will notice I have no bed. So, let's call it a bedless bedroom. You see desk, you see bookshelves, you see nightstand, dresser, random furniture item, cute mirror, did I mention my desk? And then you have some wall decor, most of which is put away since the move. And then there's townhouse life outside there, just concrete slabs everywhere. And we are moving legit, like, just down the street. And anyway, I'll get to that. But I don't have a bed because, story time, and I have explained this before. So long story short, my dog Daxton, he's a small wiener dog, and he's really old now. His birthday was just the other day, so he's extra old now. He pees sometimes. He has accidents. And... Let's say, by the way, he has to sleep by me. That's the thing. So every night he has to sleep by someone. There's like weird stuff in my nose. <laughs> and that someone is usually me because we're pretty close and he feels really comfortable around me. But he can't make an accident on the carpet in this house because it's not our house. So we have to keep it extra nice. So he's only allowed downstairs. And so are you confused yet? Me too. The other side of the story by the way this is so confusing i'm not saying this very well but there's hardwood floor downstairs all downstairs 
the only carpet that we have is upstairs. It's all of the upstairs. So that's why he cannot be, even if he's in his bed, in my bed, at night, he just, he can't do it. Just in case there's any problems, you know? And then the other side of the story that I was going to say is my parents, they, their king-size bed does not fit, actually, in their townhouse size master bedroom. And so I'm like, you can use my queen size and I can be with Daxton because he needs to have someone downstairs with him anyway. It was either that or my parents are going to be on a mattress for months and months since July. And now here it is, the start of November when we're finally moving. So basically for those few months, well, it seems like long months, I have been on the couch. And it can be fun. I've kind of turned it into a game. Plus, I don't have to make my bed and that's really, really nice because... I have like 13 pillows and I have OCD so it makes it really annoying to have to make every single day you know just organize all of that what is this in my nose <laughs> um but yeah I make it fun because I turn on the fire and I have it crackling and glowing in the night the fire as in just on the tv like I play like a 10 hour whatever fire youtube video thing like a fireplace and yeah I just stacked and sometimes he cuddles up next to me on the couch because I have his bed on the ottoman which is about the same height as me on the couch you know and then he just like walks over sorry my ADHD moving brain mm -hmm. but anyway I've been talking for so long but now I'm finally gonna have a bed as of tomorrow I'm so excited to have a room to decorate and stay in I love my desk this is new I mean it's from my dad you know, but um, new as in, it's new to me. I didn't have a desk till this house. And I use this in the downstairs couch the most, obviously couch for sleeping, but also doing my homework. I would normally do homework on my bed, but I don't know. It's just, plus I don't really film in my room because I would usually do like a sit down chit chat on my bed. And I really like to make those types of vlogs out of everything else probably the most. But anyway, I've talked for so long. Not going to be a moving vlog because I think that will stress me out and make the move more intense, I think, plus with school and everything, and then the editing process of the video, the vlog and everything. I like to watch those types of videos, and Lindsay Hughes, actually, shout out to her. We are moving at, like, the same time, so that's really exciting to me. That's really fun. It's a fun time. So it's like I can move alongside her at the same time. And anyway, um... Yeah, did I say it's November 1st, November 2nd? It's the 2nd, you know? Anyway, um, so, basically, is that all I was going to say? Um, no, I'm getting tired. Yeah, I'm just, I'm excited for this move, and the only thing I will do, mm, I won't say that, it will be a surprise. No, I'm going to just organize my wardrobe because... I think that could be the most fun type of moving aspect to the move, you know. Plus, Freddie, my love, inspired me to do that because she basically does clothes like she is clothes. Like, she loves clothes, adores clothes. Fashion is her thing. She's a lot of fun, you know. And she did a wardrobe um, clear out and then organization and then transforming her wardrobe from summer to fall clothing you know so just fun stuff like that and I think it might be fun to organize my closet so and it's a walk-in closet just a few little like steps in but still nonetheless to me it's a walk-in and I've never had that before so an excuse to thrift and feel like it's okay to do so I've been talking kind of I've really just begun but look at this after midnight it is now officially Wednesday okay okay one sec Wednesday official moving day um yeah and I'm prepared I got it done by Wednesday we'll just say that kind of because maybe like a half hour ago or so this is what I did in that time span I started at like eight 
Granted, not everything was in my room because of being in a smaller place. I'm like awkwardly scooting, trying not to run into anything. Um, but yeah, just because of the townhouse and things in storage and this not being permanent, you know. So the movers will move the big furniture, all of which is now emptied and I will get the closet eventually and then I will also take care of these things and stuff. We made two trips in my car, two trips in my mom's car and yeah, thankfully it's just down the street so we can do that. But it's happening and I'm excited. Okay.